we're about a mile and a quarter into the hike. I haven't seen a single person. This is probably the Glacier Gorge and the Bear Lake trail system. Probably the most popular, well, they are the most popular trails in the park. So you expect to see a lot of people, but if you get here early, in the early morning hours, have the park pretty much to yourself. It got to the trailhead around 5.30 and the Glacier Gorge trailhead was already filled up with parking. But if you still get here early, you're really not gonna see much of anybody. I'm excited to get up to Black Lake and finally get this portion of the park finished and move on to some different sections. So we're about 0.1 from Mills Lake. Kind of already start seeing it in the distance. And we're in the outlet area to the lake. And there's actually some pretty productive fishing here. I was here a couple weeks ago and was fishing the outlet creeks and streams and had some pretty good success. The cutthroat are pretty much done spawning by now and it's really productive fishing. I haven't decided if I'm gonna fish Mills Lake first or just continue on to Black Lake and then come back, fish Mills, and then the inlet and outlet. Walked around mill and saw a couple rises, but I'm just eager to get to Black Lake, set up and take my time fishing it. And then when we're done, head back down and uh, maybe fish mills and the inland outlets. Uh, but we'll see how the fishing is at Black Lake. I'm antsy to get there, so see you guys there. to the lake. I went up a little up a ways to get a good vantage point and get some video. So got here about 30 minutes ago but went up a little bit and caught some video of it. Waited for the sun to come out. I've just been looking at the lake seeing if I see any rises. So I'm gonna set up the rod and we're gonna start fishing. Got a lot of black mosquitoes coming off. They're all, all over the place. So I'm seeing a couple of rises in the section. I'm just going to start off with a size 16 foam beetle and if I feel like I need a dropper or a second dry, a smaller dry, um, I'll go ahead and add it. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of mosquitoes out so if the foam beetle doesn't work out I'll probably 
add on a size 18 or 20 parachute atoms, kind of mimic these uh, black mosquitoes. So we got one to the net, just a little brook trout. We ended up taking the size 16 foam beetle, very colorful brook trout, just a small one. Forgot my GoPro today, so a little hard to catch these fish and video at the same time, but I'm gonna make it work. Got another one, take the size 16 foam beetle. I'm gonna get him to the net. Smaller guy this time. Seems like they're all pretty small, but they are really colorful. Got a better, better one on the line. Oh, he was just a fighter. <laughs> Thought this one was bigger, but he ended up being just a fighter. Off he goes. This is almost back to back. I mean, these guys are plentiful, but this one's long and skinny. They're very plentiful, it seems, and are really attacking the dry fly. I wish I had my GoPro so you can see how aggressive they're taking it, but looks like there's a lot of brookies in this lake. Another one to the net. These guys are really small, but definitely a lot of fun. I like the dark colors on them. This one's just long and skinny. Ones in Sky Pond were definitely bigger, but these guys are plentiful and a lot of fun to see. Another one on the foam beetle. This one isn't as skinny or long, but still beautiful brookie. Did another proximity cast, had a rise in that area, hoping that I'll come back and eat it. A lot of rises everywhere, constant rises. They're small brookies, but they're a lot of fun. They're small, and fighters, and pretty at this lake. The one gone. Got a brook trout on the line. I'm gonna let this inlet, I'm gonna let this outlet rookie go. Another one on the line. Looks like he took the dropper. Get into the net. This guy took the dropper. It's a beautiful brook trout. Small, but fishing this scenic outlet. It's the third little brook trout that I've caught in this outlet stream. Really small but they are gorgeous. Third brook trout that I've caught in this little outlet stream. Small but they are gorgeous. Been fishing this little outlet stream here. 
I'm heading back to Mills Lake, but I passed some um, outlet streams and I saw some brook trout in there, so I had to stop by and throw a few casts at them, but hopefully make my way down soon. Already caught three to the net. It's a beautiful area. So I'm casting a little further up here, letting the fly drift down, and the trout are taking it on the top. Got one on the beetle and then two on the Griffiths net that I've got trailing behind it. Gonna give it a few more casts, but then head back down. I thought it would be over, but this is the fourth one from that little stream, or from the stream. Same thing, this one's a little fatter. Took the foam beetle, just does not get old. There's a brook chat at the end of this little run here, and he's probably in this section. There he goes. Keeps rising on that area. I'm gonna to try to get this one. And we've got him. Just cast it over there in that direction. Bring him to the net. Whoa, there he goes. Bring him to the net. Chove Creek is very productive. All in this section, rising trout. Finally gonna leave this little creek section, very productive. I have to force myself to walk away from all this. If I have more time, I'll definitely keep going upstream even though I've already gone up to the lake. That was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna head down to Mills now. down the mills I made the executive decision not to fish it and then also the outlet and inlets here um, I already fished the outlet streams between mills and black lake and I already caught my fill so I'm ready to walk back and head down the trail 